just a beautiful fall evening. We had some rain yesterday, but it is clear. It's in the upper 40s, so for some of the USC players, it will be a little bit colder than they would prefer. The Irish have won the toss and will receive as both of these great programs begin their second half of this 2021 season. Parker Lewis, Lewis out of Phoenix kicks it off. It is a bouncing ball taken to the bounce by Lorenzo Stiles, who's back returning kicks for the Irish here tonight. And the freshman takes it to the 22-yard line. Four plays, four passes for the Irish. George Takis, the tight end, is in the game. He's the motion man. Now Braden Lindsay in motion. And he'll just sweep it to the right. And the speedster, track star during his high school days in Oregon. First down to the 47. Injured against Washington State, but has been in the lineup since. First down, nothing over. Slavis is sacked. Loss of eight. Jason Adam Lola comes up. Two and a half sacks now on the season for the senior from New Jersey. And you see the bunch up the top. You see Michael Mayer here at the point. See if that ends up being a matchup with Jack Cohen likes. Davis here. He's the inside most receiver. He just runs across the field. It looks like it's zone coverage. Nobody really picks him up as he goes screaming across the field. Runs right across the free safety's face. Nice job by Jack Cohn. Kind of working his way through a lot of bodies in the end zone finding Avery Davis. Seeing a lot of number six on the Irish Clarence Lewis in coverage. From the 43. Junior Slovis throws it towards London. In between this open space in the zone, he's got it. Inside the 15-yard line to the 13. That's a gain of, well, no mark him at the 14, a gain of 29. And Kyle Hamilton is down for Notre Dame. Third and eight for Keaton Slovis in the USC offense. Slovis, on hit, and it's intercepted by Bo Bauer out of the air. Bauer got a block. Bauer with speed at midfield. Chased by Slovis. Bauer at the 20. Tries to stiff arm. Down at the 5. Huge turnover and return by the graduate student from Harvard Creek, Pennsylvania. This Notre Dame defensive line is tuned up. Finding ways to get to the quarterback. Tonga by Low. Moser gets his hands in there. Tip this ball up. Great job by this defensive line. A lot of mismatches up front. USC's going to have to find a way to get the ball out quicker, or else it's going to be a long night. And for Bo Bauer, 81 yards on the return. He's found a role as a third down linebacker for this Notre Dame team and comes up with the biggest play he's had from Todd Orlando, the coordinator's group. Notre Dame got the ball at the four and got nothing. That door. 21 yard field goal attempt. And he knocks it through to make it 10 nothing. From Todd Orlando, the coordinator's group. Notre Dame got the ball at the four and got nothing. That door. 21 yard field goal attempt. And he knocks it through to make it 10 nothing. Parker Lewis off of the 32 yard field goal attempt. And the sophomore from Phoenix knocks it through. He's had a good year. Logan Diggs is the back first down for the Irish end. The impersonator, Cone, throws it out. Lorenzo Stiles down the sideline. The speedy freshman nearly gains 30 yards. He's going to mark him out at the 46 yard line. They're, they're back on the ball again, Mike. Again, they're not done well inside the 10. It's Williams this time. Inside the two. Tempo do it. It has these defensive linemen not really firing out. They're more just kind of standing up trying to assess what's happening. So you're able to get good push up front. And Kyron Williams able to do the rest by breaking a tackle to get himself across the goal line. But I think that's what this, this up tempo does. Not only does it help you in the pass game to neutralize the pass rush and get the ball into your playmaker's hands more quickly, but in the run game, it just makes that defensive front a bit more indecisive. Four straight runs for Ingram. 
They'll throw with pressure from the safety, and the pass is hung on to by Malcolm Epps down the seam. Out of rhythm, then touched the ball for 50 minutes. Game six, Cohen in trouble, and he is sacked. The one guy who brings the pressure from the edge on this team, Drake Jackson, who has been quiet, comes up with his fourth sack of the season. And second down, Slovis, throw to the long side, is caught. Good job by Taj Washington to break out of the tackle and get the first down to the 47 yard line. Play justice to this run. Williams hits through the opening, breaks the tackle. Kyron Williams on the run. Watson Lindsay all the way to the 26 yard line as he is pushed out of bounds. So Butner out, Cone in first and goal for the Irish. And Cone will give to Kyron Williams, keeps the legs churning at the goal line and in for the touchdown. His second on the night. That left hand down as he reached. Behind Alt and Christophet, the new left side of the offense. And that keeps no body part down. That left hand out for the reach and breaks the plane. It looks like the Notre Dame offensive line and, and run game of old. Just get up there and hand it to Kyron and let him push the pile. It appears not to be structural. Again, the pressure. Third down run is a touchdown for Keontae Ingram. So the Texas transfer has had an outstanding game here tonight and runs it in for the Trojans' first touchdown of the evening. They've really done a great job all night running the ball, by more so than what we expected. A good run scheme here, bringing the tight end back. Everyone's thinking pass. Defensive ends are upfield. That creates the lane that allows Keontae Ingram to, to get into the end zone. Digs out, Williams in. You'll see, usually likes to blitz. They'll only bring three here. Underneath, Williams, can he catch and get it? Oh, he can't get it. So many plays like that. Kyron Williams, when it looks like he's going to be two or three yards short, he gets it. First down. You know, times will do this as a design. Look at this. Eyes are this direction. With Jack Cohn getting the defense to play the three receiver side, Kyron Williams just kind of sneaks out of the backfield, getting his hands with his shoulders parallel to the line of scrimmage so he can grow run, advance, and pick up that first down. 11 and a half to go, first down. Play action, sideline, shot, contested ball. It is intercepted or caught. The 15, it is intercepted. Ruling on the field is an interception. First down, USC. Tight battle with Chris Steele. Physically there in that 50-50 ball. The junior from Bellflower, California, wrestles it away from Austin. Austin has hands on it first. But it's closed into the chest by Steele. With the replacement officials. Let me bring Terry in a second, but Slovis from the 14 looking deep downfield. He's got a man open. And it is caught at the 40-yard line. And goal. Slovis on the dig. Barlow on the carry to the goal line and in. And USC right back in it. All day. But these, these three yard runs from the first and second quarter are now all of a sudden six and seven yard runs. So credit this offensive line for never giving up, continuing to grind, continue to wear on this defensive line, and opens up a lot of other elements in the run game for Notre Dame. Under five minutes, first and goal for the Irish, and Buckner will keep it, and scores a touchdown. And you see one of the first guys out there is Jack Cohn. These quarterbacks, as they share the role, also share the joy as well. Look at Jack Cohn. What those quarterbacks and what Tommy Reese and, and, and Brian Kelly have really been able to build together. You know, they see, no matter who's in the game, that that quarterback room is a shared success. So whether it's Jack Cohn throwing touchdowns, Tyler Buckner running in, or Drew Pine coming off the bench to give the team a spark, those guys have worked so well together. As a lot of the speculation of what's next at USC will uh, probably filter through the second half of this season. Jack Cohn takes a knee, and that will do it.
Notre Dame has beaten Southern California for the fourth consecutive time. Five in a row in South Bend. Five out of the last six. And Brian Kelly he was talking to Dante Williams when we were on the field before the game. Real respect for what he has been dealing with and how he had the team prepared tonight. 15 catches, 171 for Drake London. He thought we'd see Kyle Hamilton, but he's checking on him. Those two mid-season first-team All-Americans.